So one of the most important properties in logarithms is base changing property. We can change the base of logarithm if we want. And the property is log b base a and there is some number c which is greater than 0 and which is unequal to 1. I can write it as log b base c upon log a base c. So log b base a can be written as log b upon log a to some valid base c. Now say for example, I have log 7 base 5. Suppose I want to change it to base maybe 10. So I can write it as log 7 base 10 upon log 5 base 10. Suppose someone else wants to change it to base e. They can write it as log 7 base e log 5 base e. Suppose I want to use 0 0.1 as base. So I can also write it as log 7 to the base 0 0.1 log 5 to the base 0 0.1. So if I want, I can change the base of any number. And then from this property, I can also write it as 1 upon log c base a upon log b base c and I can write this as 1 upon log a base b. So log b base a is reciprocal of log a base b. So now how do we get this property? So what I'll do is, I'll start with, I'll let this as log b base c as some x and log a base c as some y. Now I can write this b as c to the power x and I can write this a as c to the power y, right? So now I need to express b in terms of a. So I can write c as a to the power 1 upon y and I can put the value of c here. I can write b as a to the power 1 upon y to the power x which is b is a to the power of x upon y. So if I take log to the base a, I can write log b base a is log a to the power x upon y. Now I can take this power out. So I can write it as log b base a equals x upon y. Log a base a is 1. Now x is log b base c and y is log a base c. And that is how we can prove this property, right? If you like the video, consider subscribing and sharing it with someone you know who might benefit from it. Also, the best way to navigate any topic is through a playlist. Simply go to the channel page, click playlist and select the topic you wish to study.